Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to add textures to your 3D model for your Gorilla Tag fan game. Now, I'm sorry I've been uploading, I've been really busy with holidays and everything else. Now, I just want to say this, if you guys comment like what your problem is, I won't be able to help you because I'm not a Blender expert. I've already got over 100 comments asking for help and other things like that. I'm sorry if I don't reply to you because it's really difficult for me to process everything because I'm not a Blender expert. So if you need any help, go to the, go to the official Blender Discord server and um, yeah. So the first step to make a model, first things first, we need to get our textures. So if you have a face texture in mind, that's just a PNG or whatever, just save that to a folder. Now, you can get fur textures from the Gorilla Tag modding Discord server in the stored re hashtag stored resources. If you scroll up further enough, you should find all of these coloured textures. And if you need a torso texture, as well, like as you guys already know, there's a Gorilla Tag torso texture um, on the screen. But um, as you guys can see here, this is a torso texture, you can just save this. But once you've got all your textures, you generally need three main ones. The face, the torso texture if you're using it, and the fur texture. But now, we want to load into uh, Blender. Once Blender is loaded, click on A, and then you can just remove all of this. And now you import your model by pressing File, Import, and then Import Your Model. After your model is imported, it shouldn't look upside down. I modeled mine upside down because I lost my old model, but it, don't worry about it. But now, what we want to do is we want to go to Shading. Now, we want to select the mesh here, and we want to select this little icon down here, and click on New. Now you're going to see all of this stuff down here. Click on Add, Search, Image, Texture. Press this, drag this along, and then click on open, and then now you open your fur texture, which is light pink fur, as you guys can see right here. Now, we're going to click on the add button, and then we're going to click on new, and then this is going to be our torso texture, so search image, texture, and now I just repeat this for the torso texture. That's our torso texture done. Now do this for the face again, so new, add, image, and image texture and then just drag this again and then this is going to be our face texture so click on open and then you will just put your face texture in after you've got all your three materials you can rename them if you want I like to rename mine sometimes when I just need to because it makes it easier to d determine this is going to be fur this is going to be um, torso fur so torso fur and then this is going to be called face face. Now that we've got all of that done, go back, click on UV editing, now zoom in, bring this round, and now make sure all of the dots are orange, if they're not and they're black, just click on A, and I select all of the dots and you should see this grid type here, then click on U, smart UV project, and then click, make sure island margin is here, and then you want to click on, and you want to click on it, and then you want to add a 5 right there, and then click on OK. That's going to lay everything out, now it looks very scary, I know, I know. But now you're going to select your face texture by holding shift, and this is where our face is going to be. So click all the dots around here. Actually, sorry. Your first things first, you want to click on this little icon up here, select your, uh, your face, which is cat, my profile picture. Now you're going to hold shift, and you're going to select all of the dots for the face. Yes, this is really tedious and annoying, but it does work out eventually. So you want to just select all of these dots by holding shift. Now if you accidentally click off, just con control Z, and it should all of us select it back again. But now, like so, we are almost done selecting. And once we've got all of this, it should pop up on here, and you should see all these random patches of stuff. But we don't like that. So we're going to click on New, Smart UV, and click on OK. Now it should bring up this. Now we want to um, open up like this guy again. And then we want to make sure, you want to press up here, make sure it's visualing so you can see the textures. Then click on the ball again, and make sure your face is selected, and click on Assign. Now, your face is going to look a bit goofy and a bit wacky. Now you're going to select this texture on this side, as you guys can see right here. So this is our texture, and we just want to hold shift and select all of these dots here. Now we want to press our rotate tool, and we want to rotate this texture around until it aligns with the original texture, like uh, so, which, uh, there. Now, what if we can just do? You can just do this to select all of them. Sometimes I won't fully select. Now do this. Now you can you can use the scale tool. The, the big the bigger it is, the more like images it is. But um, you can make it. You can also use the movement key to move it around properly. So that's our face down. Now we want to make our torso our fur texture. 
So now you want to select this, click on your fur. This is our fur texture here. And now we want to come down and we want to do, we want to hold shift and select our torso, which is going to be our fur texture. This is the probably the most time consuming part because it's more vertices and like dots to press, but it's pretty simple to do. I'm nearly done here. And once all of it's selected, click on new once again, smart UV, OK. And then you want to select torso fur sign now it's gonna look a bit goofy again now we want to select this guy instead and we just want to flip this around so it faces the right way which is pretty simple to do we just simply go like this and now sometimes it gets a bit weird to align properly like as you guys can see but if you guys get it in the right formation which is about there that's how torso texture done now click on uh, this thought up here, and as you can see we've got our face, we've got our torso fur. Now I didn't align it properly, but you need more time to do this. This is just a rushed model. But um, yeah, so this is how you add texture to your model. It's very simple, but it'll do the job, and it'll make it nice and simple for you guys. But um, yeah, so thanks for watching guys, comment, like, and subscribe, and goodbye!